ecosystems if you observe minutely in your surroundings you will find that all things in our environment depend on each other for their existence for example a pond contains varieties of plants and aquatic animals microorganisms underwater rocks etc these all cannot live separately therefore depend on each other ecosystem ecosystem can be defined as interdependence of plants and animals to their environment constituting a biological community and physical environment associated with it factors of ecosystem an ecosystem consists of two factors or components a biotic and b abiotic biotic factors the living organisms are called biotic components or living components of the ecosystem examples plants animals and microorganisms abiotic factors the non living things are known as abiotic components or non living components of the ecosystem examples sunlight air water soil etc the biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystems all work together in a balanced system study of biotic components biotic components or the living components of an ecosystem consist of various plants animals and microorganisms all biotic components interact with each other and with the abiotic components in the biosphere on the basis of their mode of nutrition the biotic components are differentiated into producers consumers and decomposers producers plants are the only producers in this ecosystem they are also called autotrophs all living organisms that manufacture their own food in the presence of sunlight are autotrophs and only plants can do so they make their food by the process of photosynthesis using sun as an energy source consumers consumers are those who cannot manufacture their own food and are dependent on autotroph organisms for their food consumers can be further subdivided into three groups depending on their food these are herbivores carnivores and omnivores one herbivores these animals feed on plants and are called the primary consumers examples cow deer horse elephant zebra two carnivores these animals feed on herbivores and are flesh eaters these animals catch their prey and then eat it they are called predators three decomposers decomposers are living organisms that feed on dead organisms and decompose them into nutrients carbon dioxide and water this process is called decomposition dead plants and animals along with fecal matter are called detritus examples bacteria fungi